Hey everybody, welcome back to the bird's nest. While I'm doing some shoulder repairs and healing, uh, one of the things I'm doing is kind of going over my boat organization, tackle storage, and all that other fun stuff. Uh, but what I wanted to show today is how I do my terminal tackle storage. You see a lot of uh, new tackle systems from Bass Mafia, uh, Plano Edge has a, tack a terminal tackle box, even the Guggen Squad, which is a Bass Mafia rebranded uh, out there. And then you even see one from Academy uh, that's out there. All are good boxes, all have their purposes, all have their functions. And I just kind of want to go over some of those today and show you what I like and what I don't like about each one of them. So y'all stay tuned, we'll get right to it. So we're going to look at this H2O Express premium terminal tackle utility case. It's a very durable case. I will give it that. It is a very durable box. Very solid. You're not going to break this inside the boat. Uh, you're not going to break this if you drop it on the boat ramp or anywhere else. It's pretty durable. Yes, I actually have ran over it with my truck, boat tires. It held up just fine. Durability of the case is not the problem here. The things I don't like about it, just like the Bass Mafia, is these two latches. It only has two. I don't care for the two latches. The other thing I didn't care for, as you can see, I've got all kinds of hooks and whatnot in there and I loaded this thing up to the gill. Are these little foam inserts to insert your weights in? Uh, I just found it kind of challenging, if you will, uh, to get some of those weights out if you push them down in there too hard or if those foam uh, inserts expanded too much uh, where I couldn't get them out and then it was just kind of a pain in the ass. So what I did to circumvent that, I just took them out and I put everything in little baggies label them done the other thing i do not like about this is it is a little bit bigger than a normal 3700 case and then sometimes it was a challenge to get these latches to close if everything didn't align such as we're doing right here just trying to doing a simple demonstration for you uh, it is water sealed it does have a gasket but again, it's very durable. When I try to slide it down into the bird, down in the center storage, it's too long compared to a normal Plano. It's like a half inch longer or so. It's preventing it from sliding it down into the center part of my storage. Um, didn't care for that too much neither. But other than that, absolutely nothing wrong with this box. Didn't have things uh, moving around. Uh, hook stayed where they needed to be in their individual dividers and uh, again really can't complain especially for the price at Academy Picked this up for like 20 bucks. I think it's like $18.99 and uh, Again, it, it looks like it's made from Bass Mafia. The material looks the same. Its durability looks the same. You've got a nice hinge that comes across and uh, You know No complaints other than those couple of minor things, but it's a very durable box I'd recommend it but what I'm doing today is I'm using a flambo box one of the big new flambo 5012 ZM this is the Z rust max box deep this is the deep version from them it also has its pros and cons so I uh, just want to kind of go over that and compare it to some of the other boxes that I considered. Uh, the only thing that I really don't like about it, well, there's two things I really don't like about it. Number one, the hinge back here. There's a lot of them, a lot of hinges right here, but they're all plastic. I don't care for that. Uh, eventually, like this one right here is going to warp or come out of spot and uh, may just break. Who the hell knows? I just don't care for that. Even though this plastic is hard and rigid, it's not going to break. You can drop it on the ground. Uh, it's okay. The other flambos that are similar to this, which is the WP5001, 
it's not as durable. It is a good box, but it's not as thick and it doesn't have the Z Rust Max. It just has the initial Z Rust in it. So how do I got this laid out for terminal tackle? Well, let me show you that. It comes with the dividers that you can customize for lack of better words, how many different containers you can have. And I put everything in the individual baggies and I made my own sizes of slots to put things in. So up here in a bigger slot, a bigger box, bigger square, put my bigger hooks. And then the bottom one, I put my smaller hooks. So I have size one through three down here and then four through seven up here. Over here, I have some shaky heads. Over here, individual containers, you can see that you can label them or put a card in there and how heavy the weights are. My beads. And again, you can hand write on those. So it's not a problem. Buy those baggies, a thousand of them for 10 bucks off the Amazon and they'll suit you just fine. And then again, a nice size container right here to hold wobble heads. And then I'll label on those bags what size the hook and what size the weight is on those wobble heads. Um, so I like this. This fits inside the bird very nicely. I even have flipping hooks here, size five. And then on the other side, size four. It's about the only flipping hook you need is those two sizes. Even got the wacky tool in there. Everybody loves the wacky tool. Uh, but at the end of the day, this one box serves its purpose. It is waterproof, water sealed. It's got the gasket all the way around. Again, five years on the Z-Max Rust. They call it Z-Rust. It's waterproof. And again, the warrant is this bad boy for five years. Again, very durable box, no complaints. It fits down in there to where this bad boy won't. So as you can see, This edge over here is lined up. You can see where the Academy box stretches out a good half inch more, preventing it from going down inside the storage slot and the normal bass boat that's built for those. Now, what else do I use these boxes for? I'll give you a good example. Again, the 5001. I put all my GoPro camera stuff in there. Batteries, spare batteries, chips. Uh, memory cards, that kind of stuff. It serves that purpose just fine and no complaints. It's not as durable, but it still has Z rust in it and uh, preventing rust. Built by Flambeau. The best thing I, lo I love about Flambeau, made in America. USA, baby, USA. Made in America, buy American made stuff. I was considering using the Plano Edge deep box. Again, it has its pros and cons. Uh, one of the things you've probably seen many times on other YouTubers channels is the ability to open this bad boy with one hand with boop, boop, and it's a big, deep box. It's also made in America. Love it. Love things made in America. But the one thing I don't like about this box is it's not wide open. Plano, are you listening? I doubt you're listening to me. But these stupid hard line things right there. Give me a flex box that's deep. Plano makes a flex box that is 100% open. But it's not as deep as this box. If Plano could do that, this would be 100% a home run. And I'd move everything to the Plano box. I love the one handle. Real simple. This thing is very durable. Ain't gonna break it, ain't gonna scratch it. It's a beautiful box. It has two hinges here with metal pins inside the plastic molding. And then over here, you also have two hinges with metal pins 
pretty strong box. Flambeau doesn't do that. That is the other knock against the Flambeau is you get three latches instead of just one big one that seals everything down. I like the one. Flambeau, if you could mimic that, make the deep boxes as naked as Jaybird as you've made these 5001 series or these 5012, man, that'd be a home run for either one of you that want to do that. But that's how I store my terminal tackle. That's how I store my GoPro equipment using those boxes. Um, both good boxes, both made in America. Uh, again, the Academy box is a solid box. It is a Bass Mafia box rebranded for lack of better words, uh, just like the Guggen Squad did for their terminal tackle. All will serve their purposes. I just like a big open box that I can customize and uh, do what I need to do from that point of view. So it helps me save space. Most importantly, I don't like going in there and having a bunch of open space on a hard box and not filling it to the max because it's just dead space inside of a box, which is a hard box inside your boat that's not holding stuff for me. So that's kind of how I do that. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the comments below. I'll go out there and rip some lip.